So the Viper R is one of the most popular and well-known bags in cornhole right now, and for good reason. It's a very, very good bag. But for several reasons, I've been looking for an alternative to this. It's been one of my favorite bags. It's easy to throw. It seems like it's used in a lot of blind draws, things like that. But I've been looking for an alternative, if not a replacement, for a while now. And I think I might have found one. Here's a few reasons why I've been looking, and then we'll get into what I found. So one, availability of the Viper R's is a little bit tough sometimes. Uh, they're very popular, like I said, so they sell out. And they've been better about keeping inventory in, but I suspect as the new season gets underway that, that may revert back to special drops and, and lack of inventory. And then second, if you don't get on a, in on an initial drop, they're pretty expensive. I mean, they're $125, $135. A lot of people say they're worth their money. I say that was a good purchase when I got these, but still, it'd be nice to have a little bit less expensive alternative with better inventory. And then the third reason, this year, I'm going to be fishing some ACO events, regionals and majors, and they require a different stamp. So with that said, let me get in to telling you about what I found. This is my first bag review, so I don't know if I'm going to get all the specs that you guys want to hear. If not, tell me in the comments, but we'll go over what I found and why I like these quite a bit. So I've been to a lot of blind draws, tried a lot of different bags. Uh, a few events, they had some samples, you know, vendor, vendor samples you could try at the, the vendor for sale booths. And I haven't quite found anything as comparable to the Viper R until I got a hold of these. The bags I found that I feel like are almost a dead-on copy for the Viper R, uh, if not an improvement, and I'll tell you why here in just a second, is the CBC Carbon from Corn Slingers Bag Company. It is an ACO stamp bag. It fulfills that need I, I had of, of, like I said, trying to find an ACO stamp bag that was of the same performance and quality as the Viper. And I think I've done that. So let's get into some of the specs. On the back of these, you can see they're both carpet bags, obviously very similar, if not the same carpet material. Obviously, I don't know the, the source that, that CBC uses to make these, but very similar materials. I did my unscientific speed test on the boards. I just wrote it, raised the boards up and let them slide down. And these are, these are new and I've only broken them in for a week or so of throwing them. I haven't done anything to them. These are a year old almost and dirty and broken in. So the speed, just slightly off on the actual boards, but close enough that you can see. These are rated at a 5.9 on Ultra's website. These are rated as a 5.9 on CBC's website, and I think they come in right at the same speed, pretty much, especially once these are broken in a little bit more. Fast side, same thing, rated as a 9. They're not the exact same materials, but the performance is, is dead on, dead on par. Uh, the stitch is a little bit different on here, but I don't really think that makes any, any difference at all on, on the bags and how they perform. One reason I love the carbon over the, the Viper R is they feel just a tad bit fuller and I like how that feels on my hand better. Now it may, it, as these break in, I may feel, they may feel exactly the same. I'm not sure, these, like I said, these are new. But I like the little bit fuller feel and the handhold of these carbons. Seem very, very easy to throw a flat bag with. They don't kick too hard if you're not per perfectly flat. But I do like a little bit of kick and that's why I like throwing any of these carpet bags is it forces you to practice to get that bag flat so it doesn't kick. I feel like the carbons are gonna get fairly floppy, although I do feel like they're a little bit fuller than the, the Vipers. These are, like I said, very old and broken in. These aren't broken in yet, but even still, they're, they're folding over just, just enough. I wish I could show you some demo shots of trying to do roll bags and all that kind of stuff, but I, I can't do that yet, at least not on purpose. So when I, when I can, I'll, I'll show you that, but there's probably some other videos out there on these carbons. If not, Corn Slinger's Bad Company do some roll videos on these things. You can go over to their, I'll tag their their YouTube channel in the comments. And in full transparency, I'm not sponsored by Corn Slingers. Uh, I have had a few convos with them about some of the cool stuff they're doing on YouTube and, and they're commentating on uh, the ACO Worlds, things like that. But not sponsored by them, but certainly glad to have my hands on a set of their new bags, these carbons. So price point, like I said, these can run you 100 to $130, $135 plus shipping. On the CBC website, the carbons 80 bucks, 80 bucks as opposed to 130. So if you're playing just locally, if you're playing it at, in a league or a tournament or whatever that doesn't require a, a particular stamp, these will get you that same performance for much less price. So, so why not? Why not do the carbons? You know, just like the Vipers, these carbons, that, that carpet slides well. It's not a, not a super slow carpet, but it also saves you a little bit if you're, you're misfire and you're off, off target. It'll keep you on the board, especially right now. It's real humid. It's summertime. These things will stay on the board while I'm, while I'm practicing out here. Now, 
in competition, as it gets colder and the air dries out, I bet you they're going to perform real similar. Maybe the Corn Slingers guys will be in the comments and can explain the, the difference in the carpet if there is any. It feels almost identical. But yeah, the overall performance of these is great. The fast side rates as a nine, just like the Viper R's, and pushing, sliding up a sticky board, whatever, they've been great. Um, you know, I've still got to get my, my aim down under control because they'll still shoot off the back if I throw low and hard trying to get one. But great push side, fast side. So there you have it, guys. That's my answer to the Viper R. These CBC Carbons, fantastic bags. ACO stamp bags stepping up to, to be on par with some ACL stamp pro bags. So tell me what you think. If you guys, I don't see a lot of videos on ACO bags. It's strange. I don't see very many reviews on them, but the quality is top notch from the ones I've got my hands on. Uh, same with ACL, good stuff. But is the price point difference, you think, a league thing or, or what's the deal? Because these seem like great bags as compared to ones that's, you know, basically $50 more. But Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. You got any other bags that, that are very similar to these two that I should try out and compare? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching.